brothers and sisters over there in America, United States, praise God. Uh, this is Tommy Sides coming to you from Kralenstad, South Africa. It's a small little town on the backside of a mountain in a province called Mapumalanga. So uh, anyway, keep us in your prayers, will you, please? Um, anyway, what I want to share with you uh, this video is a prophetic vision that my wife had uh, a couple days ago. Um, I was on a three-day fast, actually going into my fourth day, and my wife and I held hands and we were in prayer for the United States and a few other things, but mostly for the United States. And as I, my wife told me after I got done praying, uh, that as I was praying real fervently for America and for the upcoming midterm elections in, on this November 6, 2018, uh, she said that um, she saw what looked like a map of the United States. And you know how certain maps have circles on them in different places uh, to denote population centers. So if you got like Atlanta, Georgia, or Los Angeles, you have a, a big, bigger circle, and then maybe a smaller circle for a mid-sized city, like Ocala, Florida, or something like that. So she saw all these blue circles. They weren't red, they were blue circles, blue dots, sometimes many different little dots, and, and circles, and big circles. And then she said she saw these, these uh, red missiles uh, flying and, and hitting the map where all these blue dots were. And they were exploding right on top of these blue dots and blue circles. And there was a lot of sparks, blue sparks coming from these circles and blue dots. And she said she just sensed, she could almost hear panic and dismay and unbelief and chaos, really, is what she sensed. What I get from this is that this November 6th, if the people of God will just keep praying and pressing in, and I've been on, online and I've been reading many comments on many different videos that are out there on YouTube, and I, I just want to say one thing. I'm so proud of the American people. They're finally waking up and I really believe the church is waking up, the Church of Jesus Christ. And I've been praying over here in South Africa. I've been living here now over 10 years, and I've been praying for a revival. And I believe we're in the, in the midst of, of the beginning of, of birth pangs for a, a real great awakening and a, a spiritual revival in America. And I, I am just so excited because what I see what I feel is coming is, is a, red a red tsunami, a red tidal wave. Uh, not only that, I think this election is going to be a blowout. I believe there's, there's Democrats that the media is saying they're safe, they're okay. And it's going to come back after the election. We didn't even see this thing coming. How did this happen? People like Mel Melendez in New Jersey. And, and different ones that just need to get out, you know. We don't need child molesters representing us in Congress, okay. So I think the American people have had enough, and enough is enough, amen. Sometimes enough is enough, that we just draw the line and that's it. Now I wanted to share with you a scripture out of Matthew 7, 7. I like that, 7, 7. God, God likes sevens, right? Donald Trump was 70 years, 7 months, and 7 days old when he laid his hand on the Bible and took the oath of office, praise God. So God likes sevens. Jesus said, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. He who seeks, finds. And to him who knocks, the door will be opened. Which of you, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, 
will you give him a snake? If you, then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? And I believe all across America, all across the world, in fact, even people, I, at least I'm an American, I'm living in South Africa, but there are many people around the world that have never even been in the United States. But they're, they're living in China, they're living in Russia, India, all over. And they're praying also for this election. Don't forget that. They know what's at stake. God's showing them. God's people around the world are praying. And we're asking. And James 1 says, when you ask, make sure it's with the right motives. Well, you know, when you fast and pray for an election, I believe that it's with right motives. None of us, maybe some people might fast and pray for a brand new car, right? Or a brand new house or something that's going to benefit them uh, right, right off the bat. But when you pray for your country, when you pray for your land, that, that's special to God. That, that really touches God's heart. And I, that's why I believe we've even been calling down the, the commanding angels of heaven. Uh, each commanding angel represents thousands of angels under him. We're, we're just speaking angels and take authority. You know, Luke chapter 10 says that we, Jesus said, I saw Satan fall like lightning. He said that to the 70 that went out and they came back rejoicing because they had been able to cast out demons. And Jesus said, I saw Satan fall like lightning. Satan is going to fall like lightning on November 6th. Amen? Just remember that. The powers that be, they're, they're being shaken in the United States. And we're on the threshold of something great. Also, Jesus said, when he said, I saw Satan fall like lightning, he said, I have given you authority over all the earth, and you will tread on snakes and scorpions. There's a lot of snakes and scorpions in the deep state, amen? There's a lot, of deep, a lot of snakes and scorpions in the United States that have tried to hinder and take the country down. And we just need to believe, we need to hang in there and make sure you vote this, this election, okay? And stay in prayer. And if you can't really do a, a real water fast and you can't do a real honest-to-goodness fast for God, God knows your heart. At least, it's my little puppies, um, German Shepherd puppies we have. At least you can set aside something special to you. Your breakfast drink or your coffee, hallelujah, something special, your dessert. Just set aside something uh, for God. Praise God. And so he says right here, knock and the door will be open. We just need to keep knocking. We just need to keep believing, keep pressing in, because I'm telling you, November 6th is going to be a blowout. Now, God hasn't given me any numbers as to what, 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 okay? But I've, in prayer, been asking God, for, I've been asking God, God, give us 60 senators in the United States Senate. But I, God, I know God likes the number seven, so I said, God, at least, bare minimum, bare rock bottom minimum, give us seven senators. Seven new senators add to what we got now. But I'm really asking for, for, for 60, okay? Hey, we can be real with God. You can, you can speak it out what you want. And many say that we're going to lose. Uh, you're supposed to lose in the house. I've been saying to God, Lord, I like the number seven. I know you do too. And I, so I've been saying in prayer, Lord, we're not going to lose anybody as far as numbers in the house. I want to at least gain seven new congressmen, new congresswomen in the house. Amen. And if God wants to get, and I said, Lord, if you want to give us 250 in there, or 300, hallelujah. I'm not putting a limit on you, Lord. 
Praise God. We just need to believe great. Believe. Don't, don't even listen to the polls, really. Just believe God. That's about all I got to say, except expect a blowout. You're going to hear, you know, when Newt, uh, Newt Gingrich got in as the speaker in the 90s, and the Republicans took back the House for the first time in 40 years. I think that he took back the House in 94, in the fall of 94. They called it a, a, a revolution, you know. And, and you're going to hear that word, revolution, a Republican revolution. You're going to hear the word blowout. You're going to hear, hallelujah, that they will, they will not believe what's happened. In the name and blood of Jesus Christ, this is what we claim in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And it's still October. When is it? The 28th. 28th day of October when I'm filming this. It's a Sunday afternoon. Okay, well, we're going to close now and get this up. You can look at my other video that we did um, back two years ago in 2016, right before the election. God gave us a, a prophecy then too, which came about. Uh, so anyway, we're not up very often here, but when God gives us a real special word, we make sure that you hear about it. We love you. Pray for our ministry. Pray for my album, Stranded No More. Look for it on iTunes and Amazon, okay? God bless. I love you. Bye.